Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I shatter preconceptions of what this whole thing is. Prepare to leave everything you know about booktube behind because there is no booktube. There is only Zool. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video today is because um, Brian at Bookish did a really interesting video about Booktube as a utopia. Um, basically how it's impossible for this to be. There were quite a few things that he talked about, but I think the thing that got me when he was trying to, like, nail the origins of Booktube, and I think he had it pegged at around 2012, um, I thought for sure it was, um, like, 2014. I thought it was later. Um, and, but then I was talking to somebody else and they were saying that it was around like 2010 or 2011 and I'm just like, fuck man. But here's the thing about this. YouTube has been around since 2006 and ever since there was YouTube, there were people on YouTube talking about books and it wasn't called booktube. It was just, we're talking about books um, and, you know, it wasn't until fucking six years later or so that, um, some people, youngins, might I add, who were reading a ton of YA, um, did the whole, like, booktube thing. Was it earlier? Was it older folks? Does it matter? I don't know. This whole idea, though, it's funny because Booktube is not real. Like, Booktube doesn't exist the way we think it exists. And the fact, and this is one of the things Brian was talking about, the, the way we um, talk about it, like it is a thing, and then try to put rules on that thing and etiquette and all this other shit... There, all that shit already exists. There's already, like, etiquette. It's called the fucking YouTube standards and practices and shit that you have to, like, agree to when you start a YouTube page. Um, and everything else after that, it's just um, people's preferences. But when people start putting preferences on things, that's when everything starts getting weird. Because why would anybody have to tell somebody else how to run their channel? That, that's where things get shifty and weird. But there is a purpose for this thing called Booktube. And um, it's kind of two-pronged. What Booktube is, is a hashtag. That's what Booktube is. It's a hashtag. So people could find people who talk about books. And it's funny that this didn't catch on all over the place. I mean, there's... And maybe this is why. Because it's the millennial aspect to it. It hit um, Bookstagram. And... Um, and what, what's that really clever... Oh, yeah, the clever title. Book Twitter. Um, it just rolls off your tongue. Like fucking, like, molasses. Okay. Um, but it's funny because there was, there was never like book space back on my space. I don't think there was never, um, bookster on friendster. There was never, um, book five on high five. There was never book square on four square. You guys are like, Oh dude, you are going deep. And I'm like, yep, that's how I roll. So just fucking deal. Um, and, and the best one is, and I'm really mad that this hasn't happened. There's not book book. 
on Facebook. Like, where the fuck did we screw up, guys? Is it because, like, like most millennials think Facebook is, like, a boomer site? So, like, they don't fucking go there? So no one was, like, quick enough? Because, like, if I recall, I think Facebook just started implementing hashtags, and it might still be in beta. That's hysterical. Um, but, yeah, we need to get this book book community started. Book book so fucking funny um okay anyway but yeah so it's a hashtag and the purpose for it is so people who are reading books can find other people who are reading books but there is another reason for it what do you think the other reason for the hashtag booktube is ah it is to find out what groups of people like to purchase it's to find out what collective groups of people like to watch as far as ads go. If you think for one second that Google isn't keeping track of every ad you skip and every ad you don't, you're nuts. And Brian kept talking about um, our little circle in BookTube, okay? And our little corner of BookTube and all this other stuff. This is interesting because, 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 because if you look at those analytics that half of BookTube hates looking at, you will notice something. You will notice that there are demographics. You have gender and you have age. That right there, alongside what ads we are watching and what ads we are skipping, makes the hashtag BookTube that we put in our videos, something that Google can put a worth on. And the way the ads work is that the ads are bid on by companies and ad companies. Okay, this all these people who think there there's like this whole like altruistic like BookTube community and all this other stuff, the only reason why it exists other than for people to find other people talking about books but the main reason is so Google can make money. It's, it's so fucking stupid that, like, we act like we're so fucking snobby and elite with our BookTube community. It's fucking a thing to sell things to. That's it. Um, and the reason why I brought up the demographics and shit is because there will be people on BookTube from all over the country, Okay. But in our little corner of BookTube, that's typically white and over the age of, let's say, 40. If I'm being fucking nice, okay? We will be seeing roughly the same ads. But someone like my kid, who doesn't watch BookTube, will get different ads. <clears throat> and you're like, well, that's based, that's based on like what you watch and what words you say into your phone. That is true. It is based on that to an extent. But having demographics of people with similar interests makes that community a certain size. And that size is now an advertising pool. Okay? That's what BookTube is. Congratulations. Like all, all the snobby elite BookTubers... All you are is a, a market pool. That's really it. So congratulations on that. I'm sure you guys are all stoked to fucking hear that. Um, and the other thing about YouTube that um, is weird is that for those of you who watch BookTube, I'm sure you watch other shit on YouTube. And as you should, because YouTube is a huge place with tons of content. You could watch how to fix a car. You could watch how to microwave a burrito. You can watch um, the top five things to say on a first date and the top five ways to show emotion at your parents' funeral. Okay? And then you could watch a movie trailer, a music video, and then a video of someone falling down. Okay? There are a million things you can do here. And the funny thing is, 
there's probably one or two of you who are like, I only watch BookTube, and if it's not book talk, I do not watch it. And that's fine. But let's be fucking real. We all watch YouTube and watch all sorts of different things on it. So don't act like like this whole thing called YouTube is made just for you to be able to hear about people talking about books. Because it's not, and we all know that. But one thing I will say, if we want to talk about how important community is, and I'm sure there's people who do this, I just don't see it in my little corner of BookTube. But um, there used to be this dude who would, every week, he would search the BookTube newbie tag. And in doing so, he would find a bunch of new booktubers and do a shout out video for him. And that was really cool as far as building community. It was like, hey, these people like just started. Let's show them some love. This is what this guy's into. This is what this lady's into, blah, 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 blah. And he'd go down the list. Now, um, again, this isn't the most altruistic thing in the world because, because he was doing that, he was getting tons of subs because now all of a sudden every new booktuber on the planet is following him because he's shouting him out and everyone knows to check out his weekly video to see who else is new on booktube. So, I mean, it was genius on like a hundred different levels, but, um, that guy's not even on booktube anymore. Um, and I can't even remember his fucking name. So that sucks, but like, it's just one of those things, like if we are so interested in the, the community and growing the community, why isn't someone doing that in my corner of BookTube? There's probably people who do this all the time, actually. Because like, I honestly don't know if a lot of this corner of BookTube wants to grow. I think they're comfortable with who they have watching their videos and communicating with. I, I really don't know if there's like this desire to have it keep growing and growing and growing. Like if you haven't watched Brian's video and it's still up, I hope it is. Um, it was weird. It, like it was up and then it went down and then it went back up again. But he was talking about just how it's impossible for us to make this utopic community um, because of how many people there are here with how with so many differing um, views and stuff like that. And um, honestly, this goes back to that wise man who said, I would never want to be a part of any club that would have me as a member. So let me know what you think down below. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.